Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And this is part three. And if you haven't watched one and two, you really need to watch it. We're building a three or a four pack of this. This one has eight, I guess. And I, I paused the video, or I didn't pause the video. I started a new body video so you wouldn't have to watch me draw the lines because I drew all these lines and they're basically the same. Then you just need to kind of figure out your color scheme. And I'm still going to go with a black. So I'm going to make all the tubes black. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to make all the triangulars maybe, let's see what it looks like if we make the tops this color. Make all the tops kind of the same. And then make the triangular pieces a really light gray. And you remember I drew these lines that kind of represent these curves. And, and I'm maybe not picking the best color and we got one more little color back in there. Because what you can do now is right click and outline it black and it makes those colors kind of stand out. The, the, the curvature of the um, line, matter of fact, I don't see that line. I don't know why that line, you know, the lines back in there don't show up. Let me back up here. Huh. Let me back up a little bit more. Oh, maybe I didn't draw that line in there. Because that really kind of, to me, adds to it. Let me back up a little bit more. Maybe I, I'm pretty sure I did it on the other side, but I didn't do it on this side. You know, a lot of there, I didn't do it. And I think that really adds to it. And just don't forget to grab that node and start moving it down and then hold down the control button. And then that way it's perpendicular and then just delete these lines. I think that's going to add to it. See, I didn't do it on that side either. I think it adds a lot to it. Wow. I had the, I had the virtual segment delete key in my hand. In my hand. Um, and see, I'm going to start moving and hold down the control button. Start moving and hold down the control button because if you don't, it'll mess up. There we go. Now we've already got the black ring done. Uh, let me take away that color for just a second so we'll make sure it's the same color. And I'm not so sure. I'm going to make the tops a lighter color. And then maybe make the side of the triangular a little bit darker. There we go. And don't forget to get that little bitty spot if anything's showing. It really, I'm not a drawer of 3D. Uh, but that little bit of detail really, really helps. We're there. Now, if you'll select the whole thing and make the outline black, it just adds to the, the feel of the thing and you can kind of see the curvature. Now what we can do is actually take this and uh, bring, remember our circle that we kept? Nudge it back over there. <clears throat> Matter of fact, you could add, add to that circle by... Um, control D and make a duplicate and then just kind of nudge it down just ever so slightly. Get a little edge to it. I'd go ahead and um, take the zoom tool and cut away that part you can't see. I hope that makes a little sense when I say you can't see it. And then take your um, you know, add that and, and maybe we'll make the uh, we're running out of gray colors that looks pretty good. I would actually make that other one black. Maybe that very bottom one black. That pretty much looks like a poker chip holder. Now, I think I am. I, I made it in three, the video before. But I think to make the chips, you know, look like actual chips setting up, needs a little detention or the detail to it. So stay tuned for part four. Hope this helped. Thank you.